Now that we can actually create a user account, we want to go ahead and send an email for the user to be able to actually activate their account. Because as it stands, the active flag in the database table is set to zero. And when, when it comes to building our sign in functionality, the user won't be able to sign in. So there's a couple of things that we need to do here. This is where we're going to be sending the email, as we saw previously. Um, we need to go ahead and create a route for our activation uh, link. Um, we need to send an email to the user based on their email address with a greeting and a link and this will be contained within a view and we'll then actually have to build the functionality within account controller to actually take the code that we've stored against the user and uh, validate it and actually set the user's account to active. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and actually define the route that we need to use. So within our roots file, let's go ahead and um, update this. So we need a root. This is going to be a get, so we're not posting any data. This is just going to be a link with a forward slash code on. So we need forward slash account activate. Now, what we also need to define here is the fact that we're passing in a variable onto the end of this URL. So we're now looking at slightly more advanced URL patterns in the, in the sense that we now need to say, well, we expect this to be account activate, and then we need a code to be provided here. And that's defined within uh, curly brackets. So we now provide the array as we've done with all of our other routes, and we need to give this a name. And this is just going to be called account activate. And we also then need it to use a specific controller and a specific method within that controller. And it's obviously going to use the account controller because we'll build the functionality within our account controller here. Um, and that's going to use the uh, get activate method which we haven't built yet we'll define that down here somewhere so um, this is our post create under here let's just tidy these up a little bit oops so under here we go ahead and we create a function called get activate so um, we need to be able to pass a code in here and don't worry if this doesn't make too much sense we'll be uh, passing in a test code in a moment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to return code um, so what's going to happen is we'll send an email with a specific URL and we'll bung the code on the end that we've stored against the user uh, in the database table here what will then happen is we'll be able to access this account activate um, route passing in a code so for example let's say this was the code that the user had um, had stored against them and here we can see that we get the code out so now that we know that we can pass this to a root and actually extract the url that's been defined in the uh, extract the code that's been defined in the url we can use this to activate the user's account so um, let's go ahead and send the email and then we'll do this all manually we'll delete the account that's currently being created we'll create a new account and uh, we'll look at how this all works so um we basically already looked at the mail functionality, so um, we've we we sort of practiced this when we um, you know did all of the all of the mail setup. But we need to go ahead and send a mail to a specific uh, view. Let's go ahead and get rid of, rid of this for now. We'll comment this out, and we'll go ahead and create a, a view in emails. Uh, we'll go ahead and get get rid of this test one we created earlier, and we'll create a new file and we will um, start writing out the content that we want to be defined within this email. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to say hello in fact let's save this out first so uh, activate.blade.php so we've now got the, uh, the route that we're going to use as an email so let's go ahead and close off some of these that we don't need there. Okay, so mail send. We're going to send um, a specific view, which is going to be emails dot auth dot activate. We're going to send a list of um, variables that we want, you know, to be able to be used within this route. The first one is a link. The second one is the user's username. And this is just basically going to be username that's defined 
here. Uh, sorry, here. So we are sending the uh, a link, which we'll define in a moment, and the username. And then we have our closure with message. And we want to go ahead and define where we want the message to be sent to. So um, let's go ahead and do that now. So message to. So how on earth or who on earth are we going to send this to? Well, I want to send this to this email address, but we have a problem. Because this is a closure here, the scope of all of these variables is, well, it's basically out of scope. So we can really not access these variables within this area here. So for example, if I was to do message to create email, what that will do is it will take, oh, sorry, user email. It will take this user variable and it will find me the email that I've stored. So this should equal alex at phpacademy.org, assuming that my email address is alex at phpacademy.org. But this user uh, variable here is inaccessible within this closure. So what we need to do is we need to say function message, and then we need to say use user. And what that will do is it allow us to access this user variable within this closure. So now we can access it. So we want to send it to user email, and we want to send it to user username as their name. And then we want to set a subject on this. And the subject is just going to be activate your account. And that's it. So we, all we need to do now is build up this link and then create the view. Um, so the link is basically going to be to the root that we created earlier. And the root is account hyphen activate so we're just basically linking to this root that we created here we've already seen that this works we know that we can pass a code to it um, so we're doing that now there's a there's a slight caveat here we actually need to send the code along with that root so oops uh, so we need to say account activate this will basically pass it to here which in turn will then allow us to pick it up inside of our controller in here so it might look a little bit confusing but when we start to output this within here it will make a lot more sense so that's the code to actually send the email we don't need to do anything else with that um, when we go ahead and uh, start to build up our uh, our email view we can go ahead and utilize all the variables the nice variables that we pass to it so I'm going to say hello username uh, in fact I'll do a couple of line breaks as well um, please activate your account using the following link a few more breaks a uh, few hyphens I guess the link another break and a few hyphens so uh, let's take a look at, at sort of how this is all working just again in case we missed anything so we're sending um, an email using this template as, a, as an email we're then passing through a link which is a link to the activate URL passing in the code. So as a sort of uh, forward slash parameter, we're also passing in a username username, which is this. So this link here is this here. And this username here is this username here. So we're passing them. Then we've got a closure using the user object that we've created. And we're sending this to the user's email address, addressing them this here has nothing to do with this by the way this is just the user uh, name that it's sort of that the sort of email to name if you like um, this is the address this is the to name and then we just define a subject and that will send the email perfect so let's go ahead and sort of ha look at how this looks in the mail client and then we'll, we'll focus on the actual activation functionality so let's go back to our public page and go create an account and uh, oops okay we've got a little bit of error here um, let's take a look at why that might be so we've got an error in okay our account controller so we let's have a look um, oh sorry there we go use user in brackets so make sure that's in brackets there so let's go ahead and hit that page okay so let's um, go ahead and delete the record that we've got in here so I've already registered an, an account let's delete that because we want to refresh a code send an email so password 
password, create an account. There we go, your account's been created, we've just sent you an email. Hop over to my mail client, and there we go, we've got an email saying activate your account. Hello Alex, addressing me by my username that we've passed to our view. Please activate your account using the following link. So let's examine this link just so we sort of make sense here. When we uh, provided the ability to pass a URL root activate account, that created a URL account forward slash activate. We then passed in the code that we generated up here, which has also been stored along with the user. And we plonked that onto the end of it using a comma to separate the parameters out. And that in turn has then added that code onto the end of here. So this starts with a, a lowercase g and an uppercase g and ends in es. So we can compare that to the code in here, g, g, es. So we now know that the code that was passed through to that, uh, that, that uh, link here matches mine. So when I click on this, at the moment, what's happening is nothing. But again, what we can do to test this out is within here, return code. And there we go, it just outputs the code. So we're now in the position that an email an email has been successfully sent to a user with the correct code that matches their database code. We can now use this to identify the user and activate their account based on that. So let's go ahead and do that now. So within get activate, uh, we need to do a few things. The first thing we need to do is grab the user details where the code is the same. So we create a variable called user and that's again using the user model. So we're using eloquent to use methods like where and what where will do is it will just build up a where clause for you. So we're getting the user where the code equals code and you'll see how we've got three parameters here comma separated so field name in the database um, operator or operand or whatever equals code so the code that's been passed in and we also then want to chain on another where to say where active equals zero okay so I've included an integer here which this is a string this is an integer so this now represents the current user and we can uh, demonstrate this by just saying print our user and echoing pre-tags around it and what you'll see now is this will um, uh, basically show me all the information about my user there we go. So we've now got this uh, this eloquent builder object. And if we go down, oh, in actual fact, no, this is probably not a good idea. Um, let's take a look at sort of uh, another way around this. So we want, first of all, we want to check if this user is available or not, because we then you need to use a first property on this. Because you saw all of this in the browser, that basically means that this is revealing every possible option that we can use within this builder object. And uh, we don't want to do that. We want to grab the user's details. So we can use account method. And what that will do is it will just see if this user is available based on the, these where clauses. If it is, what we want to do is we want to say user equals user first. Now, we're only pinpointing one user here, but in this case, we're just picking up the first record. So what I'm now going to do is copy and paste this into here so user now equals the actual first record within the database so when we refresh you see that we get all of these information this information about me so we've got alex PHP Academy.org, alex so we have all these attributes um, of, of of my user record and this is basically what eloquent does it's an object relational mapper which allows us to easily access all this database information in a really cool way so now that we've got the first user account, what do we want to do? Well, we actually want to update this record. And that's so, so, so easy. So we want to update user to active state. So what we do is we say, this might be a little strange to some people, you know, we're not querying here, we're, we're updating this model and then we're saving it. So we're running a method which will then form the query. So we're going to say user active equals one. And then we're going to say user code equals empty string. So what we're doing is we're setting the active field. This represents the fields here. So we're setting, back to our database, we're setting active to one and this code to an empty string because we just want to get rid of the code. We don't want to 
consistently store it. What we then would call is user save, which will save this information to this specific user's record in the database. But I'm going to plug this into an if statement, and that will automatically just check whether save has been successful or not. Now, if it hasn't been successful, I want to redirect down here because this is sort of at the, oh, sorry, not down here, um, here, because this is sort of at the last sort of, um, you know, uh, eventuality. If nothing, if none of these checks pass, we want to sort of a fallback down here. And I tend to always go ahead and just redirect back to home and we're going to pass in global remember that's our global message that appears at the top we could not activate your account try again later could be any message doesn't really matter if the save is successful I want to do exactly the same thing so return redirect root home and this time I want to send good news which is going to be activated, you can now sign in. So let's take a look at the worst case where this hits this point, where none of these checks pass, so the user basically can't be found by the code that we've supplied. So inside of our, um, inside of our link here, let's just copy and paste this into here, and we will modify this. So let me just get rid of half of this string. Hit enter. It redirects us back to home. We could not activate your account. Try later. And obviously, because that code couldn't be matched with any records, that's just gone. Okay, so all gone. Now, what we want to do is check that it works properly by hitting the link. Let's just hit that off. Hitting the link within here. I'm going to go ahead and click this. It's going to match the code to my user account. It's going to um, find the user, get the first record, update active to one, and then if save, so if the save is successful, it will redirect me back to the home with this message. So let's go ahead and look at that. Fingers crossed, click this, activated, you can now sign in. So now let's take a look at what's happened within my database. Um, so code will have gone and active will change to one. Let's go ahead and just refresh. And there we go. So code has gone and active is now one. So we've now officially activated our user. We can't sign in yet, that will be in the next part but we've created a user account and we've allowed them to activate by email.